thank you very much. It's a very sad day for, in my opinion, the country. A New York State judge just ruled that he's crooked as you can get. And a lot of people expected something like this, but not for the amount. Uh, but this is a very dishonest man. This is a man that's been overturned already on this case four times. But a crooked New York State judge just ruled that I have to pay a fine of $355 million for having built a perfect company. Uh, great cash, great buildings, great everything. It affects New York. It's mostly talking about New York, where we have a totally corrupt Attorney General. She campaigned on the fact that I will get Trump, I will get Trump. Everybody's seen it. Leticia James, they've all seen it. Well, we'll be appealing, but more important than that, this is Russia, this is China, this is the same game. It all comes out of the DOJ, it all comes out of Biden. It's a witch hunt against his political opponent the likes of which our country has never seen before. You see it in third world countries, banana republics, but you don't see it here. So I just want to say this. You build a great company. There was no fraud. The banks all got their money, 100 percent. They love Trump. They testified that Trump is great, great customer, one of our best customers. They testified beautifully. And the judge knows that. He's just a corrupt person. And we knew that from the beginning. We knew it right from the beginning, because he wouldn't give it to the commercial division. This judge thought Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million, and it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. So we realized that. He ruled against me before he even got the case. He ruled against me. He said I was guilty. He didn't know what I was guilty of before he even got the case. And Letitia James, that's another case altogether. She's a horribly corrupt attorney general, and it's all having to do with election interference. There were no victims, because the banks made a lot of money. They made $100 million. And by the way, I paid approximately $300 million in taxes as the migrants come in and they take over New York. I paid over this period of years over $300 million in taxes, and they want me out. Oh, let's see if we can get them out. These are radical left Democrats. They're lunatics, and it's election interfering. So I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, will appeal, will be successful, I think, because, frankly, if we're not successful, New York State is gone. People are moving out of New York State. And because of this, they're going to move out at a much faster rate. They used a statute. It's a consumer fraud statute that's never been used for a thing like this before. They used it on me because I'm running for president. I'm beating Biden by a lot. We're beating not only the Republicans, we're beating Biden by a lot. The poll came out today, we're up 20 points on Biden. If I weren't running, none of this stuff would have ever happened. None of these lawsuits would have ever happened. Nothing would — I would have had a nice life. But I enjoy this life for a different reason. We're going to make America great again. These are corrupt people. These are people that shouldn't be allowed to do the things they do. And they're using this as weaponization against a political opponent who's up a lot in the polls and always will be, because I'm competing with a man who can't put two sentences together, who doesn't know what he's doing. And we're heading into a third world war because of this guy. We have to win this election. They're doing everything possible to step in a way, but we're not going to stand for it. So thank you very much. We will get back to work. Uh, it's a ridiculous award. This is a fine of $355 million for doing a perfect job, for having paid back a loan with no defaults, with no problems. The banks were totally, t you know, at the trial, they testified. We had an expert witness from the Stern School at NYU that made a statement. He, and I was very honored by his statement. He's one of the most respected people anywhere in the country for doing this kind of thing, expert wisdom. He said, this is one of the greatest financial statements I have ever witnessed before. And he talked about even the detail. So my numbers actually were extremely conservative. They saw this. So what the judge did is he brought down certain values like Mar-a-Lago, made it ridiculous. but. The expert, after having all of this, testified it's one of the best financial statements he's ever seen. And I was honored by that. But I also knew we have a corrupt judge. He's not a respected man. And again, I said before, he's been overturned on this case by the appellate division four times already. It's a record. Nobody's ever been overturned on one case four times. And I think very importantly, and I think ultimately the most important, We've employed tens of thousands of people in New York, 
and we paid taxes like few other people have ever paid in New York, and they don't care about that. They, it's a, it's a state that's going bust. It's a state that's going bust because everybody's leaving, and it's all headed up by Biden, who's destroying our country. So this is Russia, this is China, this is what you've been reading about all your lives, and it's happening right here in our country. Thank you very much. We will stop it. We will make America great again. You have my word. Thank you very much.